All right, welcome back. Today we're doing an unboxing premiere. So this is kind of live on YouTube, but it's not live as in I can't answer everybody's comments via the video, but I'll be in the chat room typing away. So if you do have any questions or you want to say hi, feel free to comment on there. If you're watching the playback, you can go basically up to the top right hand side on a desktop and you can enable the live chat if you want to see all the comments at that particular time. So it's been a while since I've been sent anything from a guitar manufacturer that actually makes guitars or anything like that. So today we're going to be checking out a new artist guitar. It's a Telecaster and this looks pretty wild. I'll leave all the links in the description below and you can go and check that out. So a massive thanks to Artist Guitars here in Australia for sending this out. I'm pretty keen to open this up and see what kind of uh, goodies are in the box. So let's do it. If you're new to the channel, my name's Shane and I'm a left-handed guitar player. So uh, any chance I get to play a new lefty is always welcomed. You know, we always don't seem to get quite as many options. And this was one that a few people have been asking me about whether or not I'll have a chance to test them. And luckily I do. So yeah, this would be great. So this is kind of like a first impressions uh, video about this guitar. I'll do a full, you know, review of it, pros and cons, all that kind of stuff as well. So, looks like we get a guitar cable, which uh, will most likely come with the guitar, I'm tipping. Now this bag is an additional accessory as well. Uh, I sort of wanted a bag for it, so I got a bag, and there it is. It looks great, actually. It looks very similar to my Fender, or, or Levy's case, actually, the one that I got from my Fender a while back. So, yeah, high quality case. This gig bag's great. My first impressions is, this thing's brutally heavy. <laughs> it feels like there could be a Les Paul in there, um, which is surprising. We had a few picks as well, which is nice. Here's the moment of truth here. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is heavy. Now, one of the subscribers, John, who uh, usually comments on the videos, he ordered one and he got his before mine, and he did say, it was quite a bit heavier than he was anticipating, and you're not wrong, mate. This thing is brutally heavy. Oh, wow, it looks like we get, I don't want to be wrong, but it looks like we get locking tuners. Oh, fantastic. So for those wondering what Artist Guitars is or are, they're kind of like a Harley Benton-ish guitar, similar type of uh, manufacturing, similar type of vibe, Similar type of price point as well. This is great. One of the great things about this Telecaster that separates it from, say, my Harley Benton back here, which is behind the Dan Electro, and my actual Fender, is this is loaded with two bull puck, two bull bucker pickups, which are kind of like the burst buckers. So they should be nice and bright, nice and chimey. But you can also split coil them. The packaging on this is great. Look at this. We'll get a shot of this up close. I'm using less light in the room now as well, so hopefully the video looks good. Let me know if you can, if you think it's still, you know, the video quality still looks good. There's the headstock right there. The neck feels very, very similar to the Harley Benton in terms of just how it feels in the hand, which is a nice thing as well. Now, in terms of the fret edges, they feel pretty good. We also get uh, coil tapping here off the tone control. Very cool. I like it. Feels feels pretty good. I guess the um, one of the standout features on this one, without question, would have to be the locking tuners. What a great upgrade on any guitar that will save all the tuning hassles and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, let me just get that in focus. There we go. In terms of the neck, it feels pretty much the same. I'm tipping as my, actually might, might be slightly thinner than the Harley Benton. Let's have a look. Now I'm gonna grab my relic one. Let's, uh, let's have a look. All right, so the Harley Benton's got a slightly fatter neck. 
uh, but not by much. Man, it's so heavy. <laughs> Both of these weigh a lot. I think that's the thing with inexpensive guitars. It's pretty hard to buy a crap one these days because there's just so much competition and people want to actually sell them and have returning customers. So in terms of how the, this will play and sound, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll test that out in a moment. But um, yeah, I think one of the, the sort of trade-offs when you buy an inexpensive guitar is generally, not 100% of the time, they can be just that little bit more heavy. And yeah, this, this, is, this is actually, yeah, it's, it is heavier. It's heavier than this, so that's interesting. Let's plug it in, I'll give you a quick 30 second pass on it, and then uh, I'll come back for the full review on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe, but so my first impressions of this, I'll probably post this video up tonight, all being well, and uh, well, it won't matter for you, because it'll be tonight, whenever you, or wherever you are, so <laughs> let's do it. All right, so I've just tuned this up off camera, and what you're about to hear is the PV Band at Red Stripe Amplifier on the Dirty channel, on the Vintage Drive channel, but I'm using the Kemper profile I made of that amp. This is Bridge Pickup in humbucker mode. Here we go. Nice, bright humbucker sound. I like that. Over to Split Coil Bridge. Over the neck on split coil. And over the neck, pick up in humbucker mode. It's a really nice sound, especially for solo tones. Well, I have noticed one thing that I didn't pick up when I actually first looked at it. It's not a huge deal. Probably I got sent a sample, but there's a bit of a ding in the fretboard here. Not a huge uh, issue for the playability, but I, it, it is noticeable. It just feels like it may have been dropped somewhere along the line. Whether that was in the courier process or, or the actual um, making of the guitar, I'm not too sure, but it's not a huge big deal. It's just a slight ding there. But overall, in terms of tuning stability and tones, this is pretty cool. There's one more thing that I didn't do. Let's go over to both pickups, just in humbucker mode. So I just went over to split coil at the end there as well, but overall first impressions of this is it's heavy, but man, it actually feels good to play and it sounds good. These come in, I think, on like around 259 Australian dollars, which is next to nothing. That's the equivalent of about 200 US, give or take something around there. So uh, yeah, minus the fact it's heavy, it actually feels really good and it looks cool. I would put this on par with my actual Harley Benton T52 uh, when it's new, not when it looks like my Relic version down there, but just in terms of you know attention to detail, finish, everything feels and plays really well straight out of the box. I may just change the strings, obviously, before I do the full um, video, but it comes loaded with what feels like tens, which is pretty good for a Telecaster. So uh, the locking tuners is a huge win as well. So first impressions, uh, I'm impressed. Minus that little ding on the fretboard. It's one of those things, you take what you get. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, and stay tuned for the full video. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. See you later.